Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Now, if you watched my live from yesterday, I got disconnected. Isn't it interesting how many people now are losing phones and internet service around the world? Huh, wonder what they're planning next, right? We've got to stay attention. So, got to stay aware is the word I want to say today. So in my live yesterday, I did not get a chance to finish my live show. Therefore, I forgot to do my tarot. Well, I didn't forget to do it because I had them all there, but I was unable to finish with my tarot. So I've got my tarot today. I had the card already done yesterday. I've already got my lovey-dovey card and I've also got the ruin stone. Now, if you watched my live yesterday, I was talking about how it's time to take a step down memory lane. And when we go back five years ago to 2018, you know when we were oblivious to what they were doing? Because they were already doing it, we've got to admit, they were already doing it in 2018. So what we've got to do is go back to when we were oblivious to all this, ignorant, you know, the blue pill, red pill scenario. It's time to take that blue pill and just... Go back to that time of bliss and be who we want to be. Do not allow other people to control you. That's the big message that I'm getting for today. So when I did my live yesterday on Sunday at 8.30 in the morning, I was told to do the bad news first, which I'm going to do that. Okay. But I've got to say it again here too while you're watching because I'm about to do my tarot. What I'm going to start doing is Monday 8.30. I'm going to start doing my live show then instead of Sundays because I need to spend Sundays with my daughter when she's here and other things that I'm now involved with. Okay, go over and check me on Rumble. I'll put the description in there below. Check my rumble because I'm about to do another video in there today about just what happened to me this morning, which is also what happened to me on Saturday. So it's getting too common now with what's going on. So I'll stick the link below over to my rumble where you can go and watch that video as well because I'm about to do a live there because that's pretty scary what's just happened to me. But the more we get involved with what other people are doing, and the more we attach to that energy, that's going to pull us down. So the bad news first. The card that I got with my tarot was the Five of Swords. Now, anybody who knows swords, we know swords means war. Swords means fighting. Swords means disarray, discontentment. It's all those things that we don't want. So, I've got the card here in my book. So, there he is, the Five of Swords, right? Let me read what it says. This is the bad news before I get to the good news, okay? And the ruin that I got. All right, Five of Swords. The Five of Swords shows that an element of deceit <laughs> may be at work. Now, I got told in 2001 when I died, of all the lies and deceit that will be starting in about 2005 and coming out in 2020. So they were planning this for 15 bloody years. So this is actually not about us. It's about them. So the Five of Swords shows that an element of deceit may be at work. Really? You may? May be at work? Oh, come on. Someone is not being honest in their dealings. Now, this may be personal to you. This may be a business dealing, teacher at your school, professor at uni, or, to, or a co-mate, or a co-worker, should I say. Okay, so someone is not being honest with their dealings. There may be a hidden agenda or some form of underhandedness. Now... I've been following a certain report that just came out of America. There are certain three-letter agencies that now need to start explaining why they're doing what they're doing and keeping a man in power who obviously shouldn't be there. So, hidden agendas are everywhere. 
they're rampant. The lies and the deceit, like I got told in 2001, is everywhere. Do not be one of those living a life of deceit or lies. The more we stand up in our truth, the more we act according to our own integrity and our morals and our self-respect, the more we are going to win the spiritual war, okay? It may represent something that is lost. How many people in the last three years have lost their jobs, their partners, their ways of life? We've lost that dream and goal that we had, okay? In an unfair manner. Well, everything over the last two years or three years was unfair. You know, here in Australia, anyone who got a fine for not wearing a mask or not um, being where they weren't supposed to be because they didn't take a certain medical procedure, all those fines just got reimbursed. So they found out that all those fines, what the police were doing and other law enforcement agencies, it was all not legal. So there's all this unfairness now coming to the truth of what um, justice is coming. Okay, something that is lost is an unfair manner or perhaps someone leaving suddenly with any proper explanation or truth. Closure. Do we really need closure? That's only our egos, remember guys? When we allow other people to do what they're going to do and we just say, no, nah, I'm not going to partake with what you're doing. That's on you. I'm going to live in my own self-respect and self-love and I'm going to create my own energy without your intervention or involvement. That is how we're going to win this war, okay? All right. As a card that shows dishonor, defeat or loss well here we go the government has lost who's fighting ultimately we're not fighting we're just trying to struggle to survive here but the fighting is all in the governments around the world so it shows that the, there's a loss it warns you to be careful it also indicates that selfish victories are short-lived so you must ensure that you operate in an ethical manner in all your undertakings. As I just said, don't be the one out there gloating or being selfish. Be the one humbled and saying, you know what? You can do whatever you like, but I'm going to create my own energy anyway. So now we go over to my lovey-dovey card. I love this card, guys. Love would be thoughtful and caring. Love would be thoughtful and caring so what does this, this mean now in your own lives where are you going in the next three to five years so we go back down memory lane to where you were in 2018 what were your dreams and goals who what would what were you passionate about any got uh, any new groups or interests that you wanted to be involved with pardon me have a look at all those dreams goals aspirations and ambitions and start putting them into place now do what you are passionate about, okay? Because there's a war going on. It's called cognitive decline. And I'm about to do a video over on my Rumble because I've just seen it again. Cognitive decline is happening a lot. So what's causing it? So be into yourself. This is what this card means. Love would be thoughtful and caring. It doesn't mean to go out and be caring for somebody else. Don't think about other people. Think about you, where you're going. Self-care is so important right now, okay? Look after you first. You know, if you're on a plane and it's about to crash, hello, I survived a plane crash. The first thing that came out was all those little oxygen, little masks and the first thing they said was put it on yourself first because unless you look after yourself you can't look after others right so this is the time for self-care so let me now go over to the ruin now i pulled these out yesterday before i did my live and unfortunately my life got shortened because internet went down i found out internet was down a lot in australia yesterday what are they planning you know, they're planning something. They're doing stuff. You know, where would you go if you had no internet today? 
no online banking, you can't scan your card for groceries, how would you be paying your bills because everything's online now? Think about it. Think about it, okay? So this is the ruined stone that I got yesterday. And here he is in my book. So I'll put him up there. There um, is that one there. So there it is. So you can see him. It's that one there. Okay. So this one says harvest. Now I've had this one before. So this is the one that's reaping the rewards of hard work. Okay. It's harvest time. We've been through madness. Now it's time to self-care. And what happens when you self-care? Growth occurs. So then you can harvest the rewards of what you've, the effort that you've put into yourself. So let me go through the three dot point for the harvest card. It's a positive sign. Yes. Signals the reaping of a reward of some kind, e.g. a bonus, promotion or conception of a child, a good deed. And last one says, typically the reward is a result of significant earlier effort invested. The reward is well deserved. So how patient were you through the last three years? Did you comply with what they wanted you to do? Or did you stand up in your own truth and say, no, I'm not partaking in that. And now the universe has given you that karma reward. So there's a lot of things to be grateful for. There's a lot of things to appreciate that's coming. Lies are now being unfolded. Pay attention, for the truth is all out there if you wish to know it. Under your own free will, it's your decision, guys. But I'm going to go over to Rumble right now, where I'm going to do a live, because I can't say certain things on here. And I'm about to give some home truths about what I know psychically. Talk to you all soon. Bye.